HTML is the backbone of any website. It's the first thing people see. Without HTML, there would be no website. In this video, I will let you know HTML best practice for beginners. So if you are interested, keep watching. Number one, use image caption properly. When beginners want to add image caption, most of the time they use P tag, but you can use figure element to show a image caption. If you want to add a image caption, in that case, you should place your image tag inside the figure tag and your captions should be inside the figure caption tag. Number two, start using HTML5 tags. When beginners want to create a website, they use div for creating header section, footer section, and also other. In HTML5, you have header tag for header area, footer tag for footer area, also, you need to add section tag for navigation. You can use nav tag and that is the good approach. So if you want to create a website, you should use header, footer, nav, section tag instead of div. Number three, avoid B tag for bold and also I tag for italic. B tag and also I tag mostly used on HTML version 4. Now in HTML version 5, we don't use B tag to show some text in bold. Instead of B tag, we use strong tag as same as instead of i you use em tag some other tips for you number one use h1 tag one time on a single page and if it's a blog page in that case use h1 on the title number two minify css as well as javascript file and then include that on your html so that your website will load first number three place your css in the head section as well as always try to use external css number four place your javascript at the bottom of your project number five keep your tag names lowercase number six every now and then validate your codes you can use w3c validator number six when you want to add new feature don't forget to check its browser compatibility. What do you think about this video? Let me know in the comment section. If, if you think this video is helpful, click the like button. Click here to check HTML mistakes developer make and click here to check out web development roadmap. Thank you very much. See you again.